We're golden. Facebook world, what is up? Wait a few minutes for people to uh, log yeah, in, check we'll, us out. We'll keep it rolling for a few minutes. We've got some big news to talk about today. Big news. Big news. Like, here's your mind <laughs> blown news. I've been waiting for this all day, Dan. Yeah, man. It's a beautiful day out here in Frederick. It's beautiful a beautiful day. day. It's like, what, 70, 80? Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it makes me wish I lived in Frederick. It's so gorgeous out there that I'm playing Mario Kart 8, and that's all I could care about. I could care less about the weather outside. Not just Mario Kart 8. <laughs> Not just Mario Kart 8. This isn't a rinky-dinky old uh, Mario Kart 8. <clears throat> Alright, so, we've got a viewer, we've got a few viewers there. Excellent. So Thanks for tuning in to us. Yes, thank you very much, people, for tuning in. This is, of course, Cartridges Galore, live from Frederick this week. Um, we got your usuals, we've got me, Jay, and we've got my brother-in-arms here, Dean. <laughs> Dean the Dan, <laughs> Steely Dan, Dan the Man, whatever name you want to call me. Yes, so... Thank you, everyone, for joining us again. Um, big, big thanks to everyone who tunes in weekly or whoever catches the vods. You guys are the, you guys who catch the vods are the real heroes. I mean, love to have you live every time because we like the comments rolling in. But just coming in on the, on the vods and watching those stuff and you know leaving the thumbs up or you know the loves, the, all that stuff. We all know who the loves are for. It's for, it's for Dan. <laughs> okay, we, we love Dan. Here. Uh, all right, so. As you guys probably saw in the uh, in the the title there, we're going to be talking about Mario Kart today because this bad boy just dropped today. Um, Boom! I'm, I'm just going to say we're not paid to talk about this um, by Nintendo or anything. We just we're just big big game game nerds. So we're going to be talking about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now we have a copy, um, not not for sale. Um, I picked myself up a copy this morning, and we've been kind of uh, sampling it at the office here today. There's what the inside looks like. No manual. So if you guys want to start collecting your Nintendo Switch collections, it's going to be a lot easier with no manuals. Um, tell you how to play there. You can get the little goofy looking cart stuff. I'll show you guys the back. They did add new characters. They got Link in this one. I mean, he was DLC in the original version. They've got Isabelle, and they've got my favorite, the Inkling Girl. And the Inkling Boy they added King Boo, a couple other guys. They've got new items, you know, the Boo, the Feather, all that the, good the stuff. Number eight, right? Yeah. Well, the Crazy Eight was in the original version. Oh, okay. So, if you guys aren't fortunate enough to have a Nintendo Switch, um, we can actually help you in that department. Um, we have Wii U's in stock, um, and we've also got Ta-da! Mario Kart Eight on the Wii U. So this is exactly the same as the Switch version. Um, the Switch version has uh, a couple more items, like uh, we were talking about Boo and the Feather. It's got two item slots instead of one, so it makes the racing a little bit more fun. You have the uh, dynamic of you know which item do I want to use, do right. I want to keep this. You Hold wanna... on to this, sit it in the back, move it um, on the front. Now you've been playing with this two item stuff, Dan. What Love do you think it. about it? I think it's on. on. Love it. It's a great, bla it's a great change, a great uh, modification to the game. Adds a second element to it that, uh, you know, you can really, really tear your friend's heart apart if you want. You can hit him with that red shell. And, you know, you can hit him with a lightning bolt if you want, too. Why not? Really make his day sour. You know, a little salty. This one's got a little manual. <laughs> you manual guys will love that one. Game's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I haven't played a lot of the newer uh, Mario Karts, but uh, this is making me want to go out and get a Switch uh, even more. Really, it's an amazing game. Graphics are amazing. Uh, the characters are all fun. You can mod all the carts, the wheels, your uh, glider, the actual cart itself. Uh, it's really neat. All the nostalgia. They got a lot of the uh, old like Nintendo 60 formats remade. Uh, they made them in, you know, different in their own way and stuff like that. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Man, we're cramming two guys in one little camera there, aren't we? Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, we, we we definitely love Mario Kart, and it's, it's been a big Mario Kart day. Like uh, we've been touching up on this whenever we have the chance. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys what we've been playing it on too. So here it is, ah. nice little Nintendo Switch with heavy glare thanks to the sun. It is my hero. So right right there, this is our little uh, highlight reel from 
the F Zero stage. Uh, I'll just put it out there right now, okay? Before John even gets into it, John has thoroughly trashed me uh, today. Oh, you saw uh, that? You saw Link just fall off the edge. There? That was me. That that was Dan. I'm uh, playing the Inkling Girl on this one. However, though, I have gotten my skills all the way up to beating him now. Yeah, yeah. He, I'm he, not on his level yet, but I am getting there. He's I'll picking it up, folks. I mean, he started. Soon. He started nowhere. I will tell you that much. Terrible. Driving off the map, you know, falling off the ledge and eaten by the. Everything that could be eaten by, you know, it's just terrible. But what do you think that looks like on there? Is that, is that a good quality screen? Yeah, I think it's beautiful. It's like, nice. It's, it's better it's than running, that on the TV. It's running at 60 frames per second on here. It looks really good, actually. Like, I'm kind of blown away. This is the Nintendo Switch. This is the first time we've had one here in the Frederick, um, on the show. Just the show. Like I said, this is not a sale item that we have right now. This is my personal Nintendo Switch. I brought it in today so just so jealous. we could have a little bit of fun. I'm so, so jealous. And uh, play it for a bit. It's a lot of fun. Even the, uh, even using the little controllers, I thought, you know, after a while of gameplay, it would be, uh, difficult, you know. They say, I've read, read a lot of reviews about them, and people complain about their hands cramping up, and it's too tiny and all this. It's not. It's so easy to use. It's, it's, there's really nothing to it, you know what I mean? I don't know what all that big, uh, was about it, to be honest with you. I loved it, absolutely. A lot of people complain about this. The, uh, the joysticks in the middle of the right Joy-Con. Uh, makes it really, you know, useful when you're holding it like this, but when you gotta hold it kind of like this, like a normal controller, it is a little weird, but, you know, you get used to it really quickly. Um, there's two buttons on the top here that are kind of awkward to press, but there's a little slide attachment that I forgot, because, you know, big whoop. I was in a rush this morning. You also get used to that, though, too. I mean, very easy to press. You can't, the way the controller's kind of designed, your, your finger goes right to that spot. Yeah, you, know? you kind of, you, you hold it like this, too, so you kind of, like... Yeah, sometimes I find it a little awkward to hold down L while I'm like driving, but you know, obviously the menu is real snappy. Look at that, boom! Yeah, we're showing Switch stuff, and it's two months old. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's over it. But boom. not only do we have that that uh, Mario Kart here, we also have my favorite Mario Kart of all time. Of course, we went through Mario Kart 64 back on the show. If you guys oh, yeah. tune in weekly, you probably saw that. Uh, I think it was last week we talked about it um, when we were testing some Nintendo 64 stuff. So, you know, we're back at... I didn't make John Rage quit last week. It's okay. Yeah, I, I was doing terrible in 64. <laughs> I picked Toad. I remember Toad was my guy back in the day, but I kept hitting Bowser. I forgot like, that the just, big people just, you know, just mow over Bowser the Just Bowser alone gave me yeah. a full spin out, so I ended up losing a bunch of races. I'm used to the Mario Kart 8 style where you're, you're constantly, you know, drafting behind people. You're ramming into people for speed boosts and stuff like that, where, you know, it's a, it's a bumper kart race as much right. as it is a... Uh, there's a lot more aspects like that. Like, you drip, you fall behind somebody, you gain that extra speed, you know what I mean? You hit your R1 off the jump, you do get a little speed boost there. You know, it's uh, the little things like that that you catch on to that really uh, make the game a lot more interesting. So, um, now a few people have been asking me, let me get this Joy-Con here, and um, I do have the answers for those people. They have been saying about Amiibos in the, uh, in the new game, and I'll, I'll show you guys here in a second. Now, unfortunately... I'm just forgetting everything today. I have forgot, once again, bring something. I did not bring any open Amiibo, so I can't really show you guys a live demonstration of what Amiibos would do on the Mario Kart 8, but I can, you know, kind of show you what you do unlock. They kind of give you a lot of resources to do that. So that'll just be something we can do, and it's not too big of an issue. Yeah, basically customize your own character, really. It's pretty neat. Yeah, the Amiibos are back. Um, you know, Amiibos aren't a big thing on the Switch. But it seems like if you uh, start up the game, you get to make a me. You go right through that. I made a little guy. Nothing, nothing too crazy. But it's all right. Uh, ooh, yeah, I might need an extra stand here. Right, let's see if I can prop this up so the folks at home can see it. Not very great. Then you want to hold this for me, please? Okay. Do a little. Do a little Vanna White. Yeah, Vanna White. Ooh. My own very personal Vanna White. Ah. All right, so from the main menu, guys, what you'll do is you'll come down here, and sorry for the glare, like it's really bad. I'm trying to, we're just working with what we got here. Let's hold it up a little bit. That's working. Yeah, I don't know. So right down at the bottom, there's a little tab that says Amiibo. So right there, you can see, you know, you'll go in there and it shows you all the costumes that you can get, you know, based on the Amiibos. And I can read a few of those, you know. For you guys right now, I'll tell you which amiibo you're gonna need if you want the cool costumes. You've got Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Link, basically every character in the game 
Captain Falcon, my guy there. You get a really cool Captain Falcon outfit. You know, you get Samus Aran, Fox <laughs> McCloud, Pac-Man, which I didn't even know if Pac-Man was in the original one. But he's in this one uh, as, a, as a me costume. I'll see if I can get a little... It's a really cool, like, design. It's got, like, a... Uh, it's, it looks like the Pac-Man grid. So if you wanted, like, a, a race car outfit that looked like the Pac-Man grid, that one's really cool. You got Sonic and Mega Man. And you can also use the Splatoon Kids, so that's... <laughs> I, I love it. You know, I'm glad to see that. The Amiibo functionality is back. I kind of wish they would put a little bit more into it, but it was never really a big thing for uh, Mario Kart. Unlike, you know, Breath of the Wild, the Amiibos are kind of essential. Mm -hmm. Essential stuff. So we have tons of Mario Kart games uh, here in the store. We have the Mario Kart Double Dash for the Wii. We have the Mario Kart Double Dash for the Wii U. We have, of course, my favorite, the old school Mario Kart, Mario Kart for the 64. Then we have the original. If anybody remembers this bad boy, that's a blast, man. I spent hours and hours beating all my friends in that game and in this one. That never stops. And soon it'll be John. John will be being crushed every day on a regular basis. It won't so. happen. It won't happen. It's already happening. <laughs> he just can't let. He just can't let go of it. I'm telling you, Dan, it's not going to happen. It's a great game, though. Uh, Wario is always my favorite character. He's just a beast. S smarty pants, kind of like me. And, uh, but Link, man. Link's, Link is awesome. Link is really cool. I think I might be switching up my character for once. Uh, I really enjoy it. really do enjoy it. So not only did we uh, have that stuff to show you, but we also got in all these amazing game co GameCube controllers. He, he jumped right into it. Folks. I jumped right on into it. <laughs> hey guys, we got a big order of GameCube controllers. Now these are official, official. I'll show them off one by one here. It's official license stuff. Um, this one's got an extra grip, but I mean you can always take that off. It's just on there for show. Like, um, like I said, these are official, and we tested them today, and they actually work real great. Um, you know, we've got a few purples. We've got you know silver. We've got you know a black, but this one's a Smash Brothers one, so you know they, they know what they're selling to. And then obviously. The really cool ones here is the orange ones. Now, don't think I'm just going to show you guys those without telling you more information, but, you know, they're going to set you back a little bit with these uh, official GameCube controllers. They're basically a necessity if you want to play Smash Brothers at any kind of competency level, you know, for professionalism and, you know, just to, you know, basically beat all your buddies and be a mm -hmm. cool guy. But uh, the normal ones are going to run you about 1937 uh, for those, and then the orange ones, which are, is a little bit of a harder-to-find color. Is going to set you back about twenty three thirty seven. So they're not, you know, they're they're about like average pricing for what you expect. They're crispy though, man. From the crispy, uh, <laughs> really nice. Yeah, those that orange one, literally, those orange ones feel like they've never been used. Never like, been used. It's, like, it's amazing. The joysticks are real nice. Like I can't believe it. But so yeah, those, those are your your standard stuff. You know, the, the pricing is you know about average what you'll find. And like I said, they're in pristine condition pristine condition and we, we even tested them on Smash Brothers you know I had that up there first thing this morning once they came in so another thing I want to show you guys on Mario Kart 8 because we are totally not paid by Nintendo to show this stuff is the new battle mode so if you guys played the original Mario Kart 8 and I do like that one uh, it's a really fun game you know on the Wii U but it, it had one big lacking feature when you played with a bunch of people and that was you know the the battle mode was a little unsatisfactory you know you were on these like little just basically the same courses, but without, like, you know, so you're basically on the normal courses, but you weren't racing. You're just having a battle, and it's like, well, these are built for racing, so yeah, they're, like, long courses. Right. And then now we have actual battle courses, you know, so they... That harkens new, back to N64 days Yeah, right yeah, there. back to the N64, the GameCube, the mm -hmm. DS, they all have it, except for 8 <clears> for some reason, but we've rectified that now. They've added new battle modes, and that's really hard to show here, but, you know, they've had the Balloon Battle Classic... And they've got um, Renegade Roundup, which I'm not sure what that is. We haven't actually gotten time to go into the battle mode. We've been super busy with the uh, Grand Prix so far. They've got Babam Blast. They've got Coin Runners. You know, that's a good one from back in the day. Or, oh, it was, no, I'm thinking of Smash Brothers that has mm -hmm. the coin. They have Shant Thief. I think they have six battle modes total. And, man, this touchscreen is giving me a pain. Actually, there's five, ba <laughs> there's five battle modes total. So you like nice little battle menu there, let you pick your item type, you know, how many computers you want, what kind of vehicles, is everyone using bikes, everyone using carts. I'm a big cart guy myself. I like bikes in Mario Kart Wii, but 
they never really went back to that level of, you know, how great they were in that game. You can't really wheelie through 80% of the match. Once again, me just showing off some switch stuff there with the controllers clicked on. And then pull them off nice and easy like that. Now, we do have the dock here and everything, guys. So, we'll actually do a live docking for you here. It is pretty neat. I actually thought it was going to be much bigger than what it is. It's not, and it's, uh... it's a little little tiny dock there. Um, really hard to get that. Let's get the good camera going on here. Look at Dan. That's an HD glory. Ladies, unfortunately, so he's engaged. But hey, we can dream, right? So <laughs> <laughs> there's that. We got the TV, which is now apparently off. So let's get that back on, please. TV, turn on. Look at it. This is a Vizio brand. Um, I don't know if I recommend it. I would. <laughs> the glares are mighty in this one. There you go. Pass that to Dan. All right. So let's see. Go ahead, man. Oh, you're already right. Yes. I yes. didn't know you were right. Yeah, that. There we go. This is Dan's first time docking. So we got no Look signal at that. there. Beautiful. Right there. Bam. Right on. You know, 1080p. So Beautiful. You, you quality guys. You know what's up. I love it. The Nintendo Switch, like I said, it's, it's a good console. I really do like it. Hopefully it hopefully it lasts long and prospers, unlike the Wii U. Rest huh. in peace. R.I.P. I do like the Wii, though. I like it, too. I... You, have a lot to, you have a lot to learn about the Wii U, Dan. Yeah. I'm more of a uh, PlayStation man myself, but, you know. More of a PlayStation man? Yeah. I Speaking. Like the... Go ahead. I just want to let you guys know, uh, since most of you guys are console gamers, in case you ever play like a game called Overwatch, there's a, a big little update for that this week. Um, if you haven't gotten the Oni skin, you know, contact somebody who does PC gaming. It's really easy to get the uh, Gen Oni Genji skin, and we've got the uh, police officer diva coming out next week. Uh, they're super easy to get. You just got to play 10 games of Heroes of the Storm. And it's a game I completely recommend. It's a free-to-play MMO game, sort of like uh, League of Legends, if you've heard of something like that. It's along the same vein. You know, they give you 20 characters right off the gate for starting the game that you get to choose. So I think that's, you know, a big push to really building a strong community. I don't know why I went on to the segue. It's just been what I've been doing this week, so I just wanted to shell it a little bit. Uh, Battlefield 4, or excuse me, <laughs> Battlefield 1, uh, just came out with another big update. Uh, platoons are now allowed, so you can basically basically create a huge clan, upwards of 99 players in 99 that clan. 99 players? 99 players in your clan. Uh, when you capture objectives now, and you, if you create your own emblem, that emblem is on the flag. It's pretty neat. Uh, it actually is pretty neat. It is, it's pretty cool. When you capture... Uh, wait, what are the names? They're not like Charlie. It's like... Yeah, they're old school names. <laughs> it's, it's like... like uh, oh, what is it? Geez. Like... Um, Bunny apples and butter. Apples and butter. You have, butter, you have yeah. captured objective apple. <laughs> but defending objective butter. I like apple butter. That's my favorite objective. Right. Not only that, but they came out with a bunch of new weapon skins. Uh, if you don't have the Del C, get it's amazing. The four new maps that came out: uh, Verdun, Sassol, Fort Vaux. Uh, what's the one I'm missing? I'm missing one. But it, they're all amazing. Um, all the new weapons are amazing. The new elite classes are awesome. Uh, the trench fighters, he's so, he's so killer. Runs around with a mace and just one hits everybody. He's got a steel plate on, uh, on his chest. It's a lot of fun. Um, they're also getting ready to come out with a nighttime map. I think that'll also be on uh, Verdun. And that should be very interesting. Is it a nighttime of an, a currently existing map or is it a new the, map? No, it's, I map? think it's like Verdun, just nighttime. Okay, so it's yeah. kind of like that old Call of Duty map that they came out with. Yeah. The yep. um, What was it called? Uh Oh, man, it was like, I don't remember. It was on World at War. I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it, it adds a whole new element to the game. You know, uh, sniping, I'm sure it's going to be a lot lot harder than that. Um, I'm more running gunner myself, but, you know. Yeah, he likes to play Call of Duty. I'm a Call of Duty fan. <laughs> but Battlefield 1, man, it, it reeled me in. It's real Speaking nice of Call of Duty, since we are apparently are just a new show now, we just talk about, you know, what's going on in the, the gaming world and let you guys know. Um, mm. Call of Duty did just drop a new trailer this week. Um, Call of Duty World at War, World War Two. I wish it was World at War Two. That would be amazing. But World War Two, Call of Duty is the new one that's coming out. I think the trailer dropped yesterday. Mm -hmm. If you mm -hmm. guys haven't checked it out yet, I definitely recommend checking it out. It looks super cool. It seems like they're kind of going to go for more of a battlefield vibe to it. They showed like a that. multiplayer thing, and they had yeah. like 
50, 60 people. It's what they're going to do. I definitely yep. think, I, I think we're matches. going more towards like a battlefield style. And they're even going to have vehicles, apparently. They will be adding oh, vehicles. Oh, is it vehicles too? They will be adding Man. vehicles. Yep. Man, it's going to be World of War II, all right? The big tanks that mm-hmm. suck. <laughs> they're terrible. Move really slow. Dude, they Can't were so broken. Trench. They were so broken. Like, yep. whoever had like two tanks, if a team had two tanks, they. Might as well just quit. <laughs> Basically. Like, going to upheaval and stuff like that. Oh, man. Dome. Oh, oh God. Yeesh. I love that game, but, man, those tanks were the worst. Mm-hmm. That game was cool. Agreed. It was remember, remember, like, the gore shots? Oh, God. And stuff like that. that. You would so shoot good. someone with, like, the, the, the big uh, snipe. What was it? Like, the P? The P500? P109? No. Oh, I can't remember what can't it was. Really but, that. yeah, there was that one sniper rifle, the last mm-hmm. gun you got in the game, and it just eviscerated limbs. Like, you shoot someone in the arm... Their arm was gone and stuff like that. It was really cool. I wish, I wish the new Call of Duty. I hope does something like that where we're seeing like really like gruesome, like wholly realistic like shots and kills and stuff like that. Battlefield Four does have some of that stuff. When you come up and uh, like club somebody, you'll club him to the ground and then you'll beat his face in and or stomp his teeth in. And it's pretty. It's pretty sweet. Pretty freaking sweet. And speaking of Call of Duty, if you guys want to get your fill of you know World of World War Two Call of Duty, you want to play it in like now, you can definitely play World of. World at War on the uh, PS3 and Xbox 360 is fully there. New people, in but it's fully on there, Good. and um, so it's got everything you could now, need. Yeah. It's got uh, oh man, what was I talking about? That's not what it was. It, the, the game is on Xbox 360, and it will work on the Xbox One. I think it is one of the games that you know has been updated for backwards compatibility. So if you do want to get your hands on a Call of Duty set on World War Two today, stop in today. And pick up a copy of World at War on the Xbox 360. And you can just play it right there on your Xbox One. Or if you have your PS3 still hooked up, definitely scoop up the PS3 version. Um, completely recommend. Hey, Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of like Galaga version. Alright, guys, I'm probably going to go off here soon. Uh, we got some people coming in the store, and we're just going to help them out. But before we go, I do want to tell you about our monthly specials. Now, I want to do this like every time, and it's been slipping me. You know, we're we're down to our last days of April. I think we've got two left. It's April 28th, so we've got two left. So these aren't, you know, the freshest deals, but, you know, they're still good. We've got two more days to come in and definitely take advantage of these. I'm going to switch cameras once again. All right, so here is the flyer. So it's our spring spring cleaning specials. Um, if you guys trade or sell your games here, you're looking at a chance to be entered in. Well, not a chance to be entered in. You will be entered in a uh, $500 Visa gift card giveaway. And you have the chance to win. We're going to be choosing the winner. And look at that. That's three days away, folks. So get in here. Trade in. You, you can literally bring in one game and you're entered to win. 500 bucks. That's a Visa gift card, so it's good anywhere. I definitely recommend it. And right now, like I said, to the end of the month, the last two days, we've got the free games with a purchase of a console. So if you buy any console, you get a one pre-owned rack game for that console of your choice. So that means if you got a Retron 5, you could choose a Game Boy Advance game, Game Boy game, a Super Nintendo game, an NES game, a Sega Genesis game. You know, if you got a PS3, you could choose a PS1 or a PS3 game. If you got a backwards compatible PS3, you could even choose a PS2 game. Like... It's amazing what kind of stuff you can get with that. And I've seen people get games that are like, you know, t- almost $20 with that deal. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy how good that deal is. And it won't last forever, folks. We're going to have new specials for you in a few days. But that's what we've got f- for now. And actually, speaking of what we've got, we've got to give some farewells to everyone who joined us, Dan. So thank you guys for joining us. Uh, Cartridges Galore Live. Uh, there's going to be a little update. I think we're probably going to change the schedule of the show, maybe move it back a time slot or move it ahead. We haven't decided yet, but you know, thanks for t- tuning in this week. We really appreciate it. Thank you all for following us, coming on into the store, saying hello, letting us know you all saw the feed, you're all seeing the commercials on TV, how much you like the store, everything. We really appreciate all the love. We, I, I, I do. I know I do. So thank you, guys, once again, and we're out.